We human beings have always been full of curiosity, aren't we? And it's thanks to this quality of ours that we have seen many inventions throughout the history of mankind. Whether it's the discovery of fire, creation of the wheel, or invention of the internet. All these inventions had had a significant impact on humanity. And similar to that, today we are witnessing a revolutionary phenomena in front of us known as artificial intelligence. Now, what is artificial intelligence? Well, artificial intelligence, in short, AI, can be simply defined as cognitive intelligence of machines and computers. No doubt, artificial intelligence is unique compared to all the inventions that I have spoken in the past. Why? Because of two simple reasons. Number one, artificial intelligence has its own thinking ability. And number two, artificial intelligence has the potential and has the capacity to perform various tasks much more efficiently compared to human beings. In today's world, we can see various case studies where artificial intelligence is used by human beings to make their lives simpler. In the AI ecosystem, generative AI has suddenly gained all the limelight. Now the question is, what is generative AI? Well, generative AI is a type of artificial intelligence which is capable of generating images, videos, and any other form of media thanks to generative models. And the most prominent example of generative AI is OpenAI's ChatGPT. In today's world, we all are using ChatGPT for various use cases, whether completing projects, writing CVs, doing market research, writing codes, and even writing your own speeches. Now don't worry. I have not taken my speech from ChatGPT, you can be rest assured of that. But jokes apart, this immense use of generative AI is impeccable. And it speaks volumes about how artificial intelligence will behave and what are the potentials of artificial intelligence in the near future. Generative AI can be extremely useful in this regard. Well, <laughs> now your question will be that, okay, that's fine. But what's so fascinating about artificial intelligence? Well, according to some searches, you should listen to this. According to the Forbes advisor, artificial intelligence is predicted, the global artificial intelligence market is predicted to actually give and grow at a compound rate of 37.3% between the years 2023 and 2030. And by the end of 2030, artificial intelligence is expected to contribute about 15.7% trillion US dollars to the global economy. Now these numbers are massive and they speak volumes and they simply say that yes, artificial intelligence has a bright future ahead. But wait, there is another side to this AI narrative. On one side we have stalwarts who are extremely bullish on the developments and adoption of artificial intelligence. Well on the other side we have tech experts who are constantly warning us about the different ramifications of artificial intelligence. In fact, the godfathers of AI are also worried. And they're worried because they know that we are adopting artificial intelligence at such a quick pace, but we don't have certain precautions for it. In fact, there is another question these days, which is that, okay, can AI replace human beings? A lot of deliberations and discussions are going on since 2023. Also, in 2023, the Future of Life Institute in the US has come up with this open letter titled Pause Giant AI Experiments. It has various signatories, specifically some big names from the tech industry. And the major aim for this open letter is to raise the concerns that, okay, artificial intelligence definitely can have some ill effects in the coming future. Now, this brings us to a very confusing juncture. I mean, we are confused, right? What to do? Should we use artificial intelligence? Should we boycott artificial intelligence? Or is there some way through which we can use artificial intelligence without being worried about its ill effects. Well, in the English language, there is this famous saying, in life, there is nothing black or white, it's always gray. With respect to our conversation, it simply means that human beings can't have an extremist approach towards AI. You can't boycott artificial intelligence, you can't always depend upon artificial intelligence. You can have a balanced approach with respect to your interaction with artificial intelligence. This state of equilibrium is the most pivotal way through which we can welcome this new age of AI. 
Now another question. Balanced approach is fine, but how can we implement this? What is the practical approach through which we can implement this balanced approach? Well, for that, I have a beautiful example. What do you see on the screen? Anyone? A man sitting on the chair comfortably, you know, he's relaxed, that's fine. Similarly, what's this structure? The structure says, Santulan. Santulan in English means balance. So my question to you is, how is this structure maintaining this balance? It's thanks to these pillars on which it is standing. These pillars are intact, and that's why it is able to do justice to the balance. Similarly, today I'll be talking about three pillars which will help us to have this balance with respect to the interaction between human beings and AI. And just for the disclaimer, this, the, these pillars are not exhaustive in nature, but definitely they provide us a certain call to action in the coming future. Pillar number one, that is dependency. Now, how many of you use laptops and smartphones? All of us, right? Now, can I say that we don't use smartphones, but we are overly dependent upon smartphones? That's the correct statement, right? The similar pattern will happen with artificial intelligence, and this pattern can be quite disastrous in nature. Yes, my friends. On one hand, we have a dialogue which says that, yes, chat GPT hallucinates content, which is true. But I'm talking about a scenario where, hypothetically, if AI becomes perfect with 100% accuracy, then also I'm saying getting only dependent on AI can have its own ill effects. And this has one simple reason, which is that our cognitive ability will go for a six. Our basic human mind, human brain, will go rusty. Therefore, we have to maintain a balance between using AI and using our own brains, which is a pivotal combination. Number two is regulation. Now see, this is a known fact that whenever new technology comes, there are always cyber criminals there who can misuse that technology. And in today's times, we can see various examples through which where AI is actually aiding cyber criminals to come up with some new cyber crimes. For example, defamation to you know, deep fake videos and photos, impersonation through voice cloning AI softwares, spreading fake news, getting malicious codes with the help of chat, GPT, and whatnot. And in this scenario, regulations and laws come as a ray of hope. And I'm glad to say that a lot of countries have actually started to work upon in this direction. China has come up with its own AI law, which has come into force from 15th August 2023. The European Union is also in the process of coming up with its own Artificial Intelligence Act, and they are expected to bring this act in the coming year. All of this just simply means that, yes, regulations and laws can help curb cyber criminals from committing different crimes. Last but not the least, availability. Adaptability, in fact, if I can say like that. Now, we human beings have this misconception that we know it all and no one can replace us. But let's face it, it is happening for the first time in history that there is a huge possibility that we can get replaced. We can get replaced through artificial intelligence. Now, the question is, what should we do? How can we avoid this displacement? Well, the answer is adaptability. And by adaptability, I mean two things. Number one, yes, you should know how to use artificial intelligence different softwares, different extensions that are there, but most importantly, you should know what are the different trends that are happening in the field of artificial intelligence. Why? One should always be equipped of different trends and different developments of AI, because somewhere or the other, those developments will impact your job or your business. Therefore, getting equipped with such knowledge becomes highly important. Therefore, in conclusion, we have seen that AI brings a lot of challenges, a lot of opportunities as well. But the answer is this balance. This balance that we have to maintain, a constant balance. You can't say that, okay, I've maintained the balance today, and we can forget about the future. No, you can't do that. This is a constant journey, a constant balance, because without this balance, definitely we'll have ill effects in the future. And in the end, we have to just remember two things. These are some two pivotal points. Number one, AI can be a wonderful servant, but a disastrous master. And number two, irrespective of your age, your gender, your background, your education qualification, your hobbies, AI will impact all of us equally. And therefore, this approach to equilibrium 
is our only chance to get edge over AI so that we can avail the new inventions happening in the field of AI as well as safeguarding ourselves in the near future. Thank you so much.